Amen. Amen. Sea is dropping. That's right. Amen. That's right. But if the sea, now you got preachers. Uh -huh. Who's up preaching? Like in the natural, there are some men, their seed is dead. That's right. Amen. That's right. They just, they, they, they just don't have what it takes to yeah. get her pregnant. So he got to turn to God. Yeah. And ask God to help him. That's right. Well, you have a woman that can have a miscarrying womb and a dry breast. You better give me that now. Yeah. Yeah. Being at the church has the title female, wife, bride. That's right. There has to be consistency with preacher That's and church. That's right. That's right. In order for the church to grow. Let's get this now quickly. In the, in the book of Hosea, chapter 9 and verse 14. That's what? Give them, O Lord. Give them, O Lord. What wilt thou give? What will you give? Give them a miscarrying womb. And what? And dry breast. Hold it! Miscarrying womb. The churches today are miscarrying Mis wounds. That's right. The churches today are dry, dry breasts. breasts. Dry breasts. Give me the book of Isaiah. Mm -hmm. Doctrine. That's right. And then give me the book of Peter. Yes. Since him milk. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 28, and we're at verse 9. I got to balance out where this milk comes from. Balance it out. Huh? Isaiah, chapter 28, and verse 9. I'm working on the definition of dried breast. Dried now, breast. in order for a child to be properly nourished, oh, yeah. mama got to eat right. Oh, yeah. Don't be smoking. Don't be drinking. Don't be out there partying. You start raising your child before it comes from your womb. That's right. You start raising your child while you're still carrying it because your raising the child is based upon the conduct of your own temple. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. Now listen at this. Isaiah chapter 28 and verse 9. What is it? Whom shall he teach knowledge? Wait a minute. Hmm. Whom shall he teach knowledge? Shall he teach, feed knowledge to? And whom shall he and make to understand doctrine? You make understand doctrine. There's two elements here. Right. Knowledge, doctrine. Doctrine. How is it coming, William? Them that are weaned from the milk. Wait, wait a minute. How is it coming? Them that are weaned from the milk. Where is knowledge and doctrine coming from? Them that are weaned from Where whom? is it coming from? Whom shall Them that are drawn from, from the, breast. the breast. From the breast. Knowledge That's right. and doctrine. Come as milk, That's right. but it is drawn from the breast. From the breast, from hold the breast. it. Now give me the Apostle Peter. Now in the book of First Peter, chapter two, I'm talking about the church right. and what's got to be in the church. That's right. And I want to show you why church people are spiritually dying. Right. That's right. That's right. Get this now. First Peter chapter 2 and we're at verse 2. Listen to me good. First Peter chapter 2 and at verse 2. Follow me. As newborn babes. Hold it. As. As, yes. as beginners. That's right. As novices. That's right. As them that just got started. That's right. He said as. as. So he's, he, he's comparing yes. your introduction to your walk to God yes. to a child that just came in the world. That's right. And this is how you got to be handled now. That's right. As newborn, newborn babes, babes desire the sincere milk of the word that ye may grow thereby. So here you have the Old Testament prophet looked at the breast That's right. and called it dry. dry that's right. He called it dry. Back in the book of Hosea 9 and verse 14. Said what? Give them, O Lord, what wilt thou give? Uh, give them a miscarrying womb and dry breast. Now, the false churches are murderous. That's right. That's right. Spiritual abortionists. That's right. Robbing you yeah. of your chance to live a godly life. That's right. Being robbed. And the one that's performing all of these abortions is the preacher. That's right. That's right. What he's shoving in you 
is destroying your walk with God. That's right. So therefore, his lies dismantle you spiritually. Amen. Robbing you of your chance to cry. Robbing you of your chance to walk. That's right. Robbing you of your chance to pray. Yeah. Robbing you of your chance to obey God. That's right. He's a spiritual abortionist. Yes. Dismantling and committing mass murder yeah. around the world. That's right. Not only that, the church is called bride. So if they got a church, a religious group, and the breasts don't have milk, dry breasts, then the breast is dry. dry. So therefore, the people cannot be nourished, and they are undernourished. Therefore, they're suffering from spiritual malnutrition. That's right. Look at what comes from the breast, Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 28, still at verse 9. Tell you what. Whom shall he teach knowledge? Hold it. Knowledge. Knowledge is supposed to be there. And whom shall he make to understand doctrine? You're supposed to teach knowledge. That's right. And then after you break down the gospel with the knowledge of God, mm -hmm. now that knowledge will acquaint you with doctrine. That's right. How is it coming? Them that are weaned from the milk. Hold it right there. When that woman eat chicken, collard greens, turnip greens, beets, sweet potatoes, amen, amen, llama beans, black eyed peas, fish, turkey. The chemicals in her body break down all that food. Right. So now that food is broken down and the mother breastfeeds her child, and the child is drinking what the mother ate. That's right. So the mother was being nourished by digesting a solid. The child was being nourished by digesting the liquid. That's right. Because the solid was converted to a liquid. Yeah. Because her body broke it down. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Amen. Here you have scripture. Solid. Firm. Sound. So it must be broken down by the divine nature of God That's right. that you may be weaned from milk. From the milk. Now, whole milk, give me Hebrews. Let's establish who milk is for. Now in Hebrews chapter 5 and we're at verse 12. All right. For it went for the time he ought when to be for teachers. the time he ought to be teachers. Ought to be, ought to be, ought be, teachers. be. You have need that we one have teach you need. again that one teach you all over again. Which be the first principles Which of the oracles of God. Which be the first principles of the oracles of God. And are become such as have need Wait of a milk. Minute. You become such. That's right. You as become have, such. As have need of that milk. That need milk. And not of strong meat. You ain't ready for strong meat. Why? But everyone that useth milk. Do you hear this? Everyone that useth milk. Everybody. Right. That use milk is God is unskillful in the word of righteousness. Why? For he is a babe. So then, Amen. You just come into the knowledge of the truth. Don't go out there try to explain this to nobody. Don't go out and try to witness to nobody. Don't go out no. and try to debate nobody. That's right. Don't go out and try to prove nobody else is wrong. That's right. Don't even argue with your family. That's right. Why? You hold that, it. You're just a babe. Yes. So if the Bible compared you to a babe, a baby don't come from the womb talking. No. So if you're a babe in Christ, why do you got so much to say? <laughs> That's right. No baby is born doing a lot of talking. No. They don't even walk. No. That's right. They just keep eating. They just keep eating and be carried. That's it. When you just come to the knowledge of the way of God, don't have so much to say. Don't be trying to straighten a bunch of people out. That's right. Just eat. Eat. Wonderful. Just eat. That's it. And when you eat, then grow. And digest 
knowledge and doctrine. Right. Knowledge and doctrine is broken down like milk. Yes, sir. What do you mean? You have to explain it, keep explaining it, breaking down. And when you keep mixing scripture, it breaks down, break down, because meat's for the belly. Yeah. And belly for the meat. Right. And you gotta grind that scripture yeah. down so the babe yeah. can digest the meat. That's right. Now, them that been walking with God a long time, they can chew on solid scripture. That's right. I gotta take that same scripture and break it down to the babe. So I have to take that scripture through other scriptural process by making the prophets and the apostles harmonize. That's right. And now that beginner can say, wow, I understand. Right. Right along with the one that's been walking with God a long time and say, yeah, I knew that was coming. That's right. Are you getting me? For everyone that uses milk is what? Is unskillful in the word of righteousness. Why? For he is a babe. Who is sound doctrine for? But strong meat belongs. Wait, wait, wait. Strong, strong meat. Strong, strong. strong. All meat. That's right. It's not strong. That's, right. That's true. Okay. You know, there's some meat. It's very tough. Right. Better lay in your system a long time. That's true. Chew it. Until your jaw hurt. <laughs> That's right. Strong meat. Strong. You see, this gospel, we don't use tenderizer. <laughs> we don't use no gospel tenderizer. Oh, no. No meat tenderizer. That's right. But for the beginner, we take that meat through biblical processing. That's right. Break it down, take it apart. Reduce it to the lowest common denominator so the child can also digest That's right. the solid in the form of liquid. That's right. Okay, get this down. Listen. But strong meat, strong meat belongeth to them that are of full That's for them that have been around for a while. Even those, Even by those reason that of have use, the reasonable, have, uh, by reason of use, by reason of use, have their senses have exercised. Their senses exercised. To discern That's the purpose of strong meat. Right. So your senses can be exercised. exercised. So your sight can get better. Mm -hmm. I have to take that apart, William. Go ahead, bro. All right. All right. The Holy Ghost said. Who by reason of use have this Wait, 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 wait. Who by reason of what? Who by reason of use. Hold it. You got to use the milk and use the strong meat. And by reasonable use, you got to apply it to yourself. That's right. That it may exercise your senses. That's right. So you don't sin with the senses of the body. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Strong meat. Strong meat. Will discipline my eyes. It'll give me a single eye. Strong meat. Will discipline my hands. So I don't touch not. Strong meat will govern my mouth. Yeah. So that which don't belong in it don't enter in. That's right. Strong meat Strong. discipline my hearing. Yeah. So I only want to hear. Glory to God, the things of God. That's right. By reasonable By reason use, of use. Have your senses exercise. Exercise. Being in your physical body, your temper must have a Holy Ghost workout. <laughs> Exercise. Exercise. You must have a spiritual workout by working out your salvation That's right. with fear and trembling. Work out. You got to exercise your senses. Exercise your senses. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But strong meat. Strong meat. Belongeth to them that are of full age. Sound doctrine. Sound doctrine. Yes, yes. yes. Firm preaching. Wonderful. Belong to them that have been walking with God for a while. That's right. Even, Even those who by reasonable by use. Reasonable use. Have their senses exercised. You see, in falsehood, you don't get a chance no. to exercise your senses no. properly. That's right. In fact, falsehood makes you use your senses in a manner you shouldn't use. That's right. Let me give you an example. The word of God declare, say amen to the truth. But when you're in falsehood and you're not getting doctrine and knowledge from the 
breast that's full of milk, you're going to say amen to a lie. Well, lie. So therefore your mouth has not been exercised to witness to what God have in scripture. That's right. That's why you need knowledge and doctrine. And doctrine. Weaned from the milk. Wait a minute. From what? Weaned from the milk. And how do we get it? And drawn from the breast. The church must be full of milk. That's right. Full of it. A dry breast church is a church that don't have the wisdom of God. That's right. Did you hear what I said? A dry breast church leave a congregation of starving, malnourished followers. That's right. Now, you take a child that's not being properly fed, it's crying, it's making noise. Oh, yeah. But that don't mean it's satisfied. That's right. It's making noise, it's hollering, it's screaming. But it's not being nourished. They have dealt treacherously against the Lord. That's where it's done in the false churches. That's right. They're hollering, they're running around the church, they're yelling and screaming, going off in some tongue, but spiritually they're malnourished. That's, they have been The That's purpose right. of the nourishment of God is that it will build you up so you can have an inheritance among them that are sanctified and the inheritance is new Jerusalem. That's right. right. Amen. You have to inherit that. Inherit it. What did he say? In the book of Hosea, chapter 5 and verse 7. Says what? They have dealt treacherously against the Lord. They have dealt treacherously. Against the Lord. Against God. For they have begotten strange children. Wait a minute. What's in the false churches? Strange children. Gay pastors. Mm. Strange children. <laughs> what is it? Strange children. Women preachers. Strange children. Deaconess. Strange children. Drunken bishop. Strange children. Long haired elders. Strange children. Preachers that baptize your Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Strange children. Folks that say they got the Holy Ghost and ain't never spoken to them. Strange children. Women that pray and prophesy with their head uncovered. Strange children. Preachers' wife run the church. Strange children. Choir do dancing like the world. Strange children. So-called praise dancing, which is nothing but club steps. Strange children. Strange. 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 Yeah. Amen. But did the Holy Ghost say that? For they have begotten strange children. They have begotten. Yes. Strange. Strange children. Children. That's right. Eh? Now shall a moth devour them with their portion. Now what? Now shall a moth. Shall what? Now shall a moth. A moth. A moth. A moth. Devour them with their portions. Here you got an extra amount of time. That's, that's it. And when that time run out. That's right. You're going to be devoured. Devoured. All right, let's go back to the foundation of the book of Thessalonians. Everybody all right? Amen. I hope you can get this. Back in 2 Thessalonians. Amen. I, I want to break the meat down to give you good milk. Yes. One thing I say about the truth of God, the breast is plump here. Oh, yes. Full of milk. Full of milk. Everybody can latch on to it. <laughs> latch right. on to it and drink, drink, drink and get a belly full. That's right. Amen. That's right. Why the milk of God fills his bride. That's right. Fill her up Fill with her. wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, and it's different from the milk of the world. That ye may suck. Listen. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 66 and verse 11. Says what? That ye may that suck. That ye may suck. And be satisfied. And be satisfied. With the breasts of her consolations. With what? With the breasts of her consolations. That ye may milk out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, they think I'm making this stuff up, you know. <laughs> That's right. That you may do it. That ye may milk out. Milk out. And be delighted. And be delighted. With the abundance of her glory. With the abundance of her glory. Of her glory. Hallelujah. <laughs> Go and take off. <laughs> we are delighted with the abundance of the glory. <laughs> That's in the church. What is the glory? The manifestation of God. Milk out. Milk out, but it don't run out. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Milk out, but it never run out. 
What you mean, milk out? There's a thorough supply. Constantly. 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 Why? As newborn bands desire the sincere milk, milk, milk of the word. Of what? Of the word. Of what? Of the word. What is the milk of God? The wisdom of God. So God's milk is eternal. That, that's right. That's right. Never in the supply. That's right. Mm, hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. What did the Holy Ghost advise us to do? That ye may suck and be satisfied. John, give Williams and I some more juice, John. Amen. The Holy Ghost says what? That ye may suck and be satisfied. Now. Hallelujah. Knowledge Glory. and doctrine. Hallelujah. Doctrine Hallelujah. mean rules Hallelujah. and regulations. How to govern. Are you getting me? A mother teach her child, is giving the child knowledge, and is establishing doctrine. That's right. What do you mean? It's giving the child knowledge how to drink because the child don't know when to stop. That's true. That child will keep going to the choke, <laughs> start right. coughing, and still try to drink. That's right. But the mother got to take the breast out the mouth. That's right. So it's teaching the child knowledge and also laying doctrine. That's right. Rules, discipline, yeah. when to do, when not to do. That's right. Within the doctrine of God, the knowledge of God lies. Yes. Give us rules, regulations, yes. how to do, what not to do. That's right. So we have to drink, and some of us drink too fast. That's right. That's why we choke, and what come out of us shouldn't been in us. That's right. All right. That's we talk too much, too fast about subjects that we don't have knowledge of and didn't wait to learn them first. That's right. It's like a brother who just began ministry. Why are you in the book of Revelation? That's right. Why? Why are you in the book of Daniel trying to break down the oblation? Why are you in the book of Ezekiel trying to break down the will in the, in the midst of a will? You may end up like the nation of Islam who said that's a spaceship that Elijah Muhammad is on called Jesus. My Lord, my Lord. Hmm? Just stick with, see that's strong meat. Strong meat. Just stick with milk. That's right. Take your time and drink that. In the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 32 and verse 7. Ecclesiasticus, chapter 32 and verse 7. Speak, young man. Speak. Young man. If there be need of thee, if. Wait, 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 wait. Amen. Speak when you're not spoken to. Speak, young man, if there be need of thee. Speak, young man, if. If there be need of Notice thee. Notice and point out, it didn't just say speak man. No, young man. That means the novice, That's the right. bee, the beginner. That's right. That's what you have in the churches all around the world. Men jumped up. God called and sent me to preach the gospel. Jumped and got a few people. It ain't nothing but a little tender plant. That's right. Can't write you divide the scripture. Leading everybody wrong. Wrong. Leading them to hell That's with the name Jesus in their mouth. That's right. Speak. Young man. Young man. If there be if need of thee. It's necessary. And yet scarcely when thou art twice asked. Scarcely when you're twice asked. Even if you're asked twice to speak. Yeah. And don't be anxious to respond then. That's right. Uh -huh. Let thy speech be short. Let Wait a minute. <laughs> Amen. That what? Let thy speech be short. That's why when a brother start off ministering, I uh, give him a time limit. That's right. I don't want him up there too long. That's right. Because if he get up there too long, guaranteed he's going to tell a lie. <laughs> That's right. No one said what? Yes, because he's going to get so anxious and so excited, and the people are going to be out there, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. He's going to get caught up oh, in right. a hoopla, and something going to come out of his mouth That's that right. shouldn't come out. That's right. Let thy speech be short. Fifth chapter of Ecclesiastes. Amen. Keep thine foot Amen. when you go to the house of God. And be more, and be more ready, ready to hear than to give the sacrifice than of they fools. Give the sacrifice of fools. For they consider not that they do evil. What is that? Be not rash with thy mouth. And let not thine heart be hasty to utter anything before God. Don't be in a hurry to start talking. For God, Tell us why. For God is in heaven. And where are we? Thou upon earth. Therefore, how let, should we talk? Therefore, let thy words be few. Yeah. All right. Amen. Amen. 
Now, one thing I say when I was in falsehood from a bishop that I was under as a child, he had a good method. I didn't agree with it when I was a child, but as I got older, even I respected it. I respect it and uh, I respect it to this day. Amen. He had some young ministers and I was the youngest one, of course. And before he would let any of, the, of us ministers speak, he would tell the entire church. He said, all right, these ministers up here say they got the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. He said, the Bible said the Holy Ghost is fire. He said, then all of you out there, shut up. Don't say amen. Don't say nothing. Let him drum up his own fire. <laughs> Amen. He said, he said, it's easy for a man to preach and everybody out there yelling, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go He get a, it's like a wave when someone surf. Yeah. But an experienced surfer, he lay the surfboard down and then lay on it and paddle. That's right. And wait for the wave. That's right. And then when that wave come, he get up under him. He slowly yeah. stand up. Wonderful. He just don't jump out on the way. That's right. Glory to God. That's right. Wonderful. So when someone just gets started ministry, yeah. just be quiet and listen. That's right. Listen. Listen. Because if a minister can't minister without a bunch of, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, he's handicapped. That's right. That's right. Because he becomes incompetent and unfit to sin elsewhere. Yeah. He may go to a place where nobody say nothing. That's true. But he's so used to, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here we go, here we go. Hoorah. Uh -huh. That's right. Years ago on Briar Road before we got to Frankfurt, there was a preacher we invited to come from, I think, Newport News, Virginia, no, Portsmouth. Portsmouth. His name was Elder Townsend. Mm -hmm. Years ago. Yeah. We wasn't even on Frankfurt Avenue yet. That's right. Townsend used to be under Bishop Hunter. I don't know whether he's still living or not, but I taught the congregation, whenever a guest minister come, listen at him. That's right. Before you quick yell, amen, 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 first listen. And didn't know what you're saying, amen, too. Right. Townsend came, and the place was packed. Folks was quiet listening. He wasn't used to that. He got angry with the entire church. He said, folks, I feel hatred in here. <laughs> That's right. He said, I feel hatred. That's right. So I yelling at the church. I was sitting in the pulpit. I just told the saints. Amen. <laughs> He wasn't used to preaching under those conditions right. of people listening. Right. He kept yelling. He called himself to rebuke in the church. I said, I feel hatred. I feel hatred. But the folk was listening. That's right. Because if you always saying, amen, amen, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, yelling louder than the preacher, how do you know what he said? Right. First, listen. Listen. Then learn. That's right. Take your time and drink. That's right. So your soul can be spiritually fat mm. with the wisdom of God. That's right. And when the Holy Ghost falls, you'll start yelling in time enough. Yeah.